Hey everyone, you may have heard about the saying to not put all your eggs in one basket. That means to be diversified when it comes to generating income. Basically, to not have all your money come from only one place. Even though this is very wise advice, studies show that most of the population worldwide do just that. They have a daytime job and that would be it. A big problem would be that if you get laid off, especially if you don't have any savings, you might become bankrupt. Or even if you don't get laid off, I think you will live much more stressed thinking about all the what ifs that might go wrong at any point. Another worrying aspect is that besides this only one active income stream, people also don't have any passive income streams, like investing in the stock market or renting an apartment they own or have a mortgage on. This is another key factor that keeps the majority of the population poor. You may not like the risk that comes with investing, but it is even riskier to keep your money in the bank and let inflation devalue them from year to year. Now that we got the main reasons you should have a diversified income stream containing several passive sources out of the way, let me share how I, as a software engineer, managed to generate these multiple streams of income and how you can too by replicating my approach. My primary and biggest source of income is, unsurprisingly, my corporate job. I work as a senior software engineer at a big tech company, and this is my main source of active income. The corporate world offers stability, a decent paycheck and benefits like health insurance, free meals and even substantial bonuses if you negotiate your offer well. And please don't think this happened overnight. I was bad at coding at first. I went to university for 3 years and applied to hundreds of positions before finally getting an offer. Now, 6 years later, some outsiders looking at me might feel like it happened overnight. Well, trust me, it takes time, so be patient. There was a saying that you can't make a kid in one month with 9 women. This day job I have also helps me socialize and through it I continue to develop myself both technically and from a soft skills point of view. The second stream of active income comes from the online courses I've created on Udemy and Skillshare. Over the years, almost four to be specific, I've developed several courses covering a range of programming topics, from beginner guides to more advanced subjects. Creating these courses took a significant amount of upfront work, but they now provide a steady income stream. It is not huge, but provides me with a safety net that allows me to sleep better at night. If you're passionate about teaching and have valuable knowledge to share in a specific area like I had in coding, these online courses can be a fantastic way to earn extra money while also helping others learn. When creating these courses at first I was horrendous, speaking my mind and explaining complex concepts coherently into a mic at a high enough steady volume was something I struggled with a lot. My first courses were pretty bad, but again, that is supposed to be the case. Don't get discouraged if you don't ace an activity on the first try. The whole process of developing yourself is what matters and will bring you joy. Now let's talk about passive income. Money that works for you while you sleep. My biggest source of passive income is through investing in ETFs, especially the S&P 500 ETF, also known as SPY. There are many alternatives to it, so you can look into them on your own. This one tracks the 500 biggest companies in the US, but there are others with even more businesses or from all over the world. On average, I earn about a steady 10% a year from these investments. It's not a get-rich-quick scheme, but it's a reliable way to grow wealth over time. The stock market has its ups and downs, but by sticking with long-term diversified investments like ETFs, I'm able to build a financial cushion that pays off in the long run. Being perseverant over time is the most important aspect in long-term investing. Also, the majority of the investors cannot beat this index yearly, so I find it to be the easiest, most safe way to do it. The diversification notion comes handy here as well. No matter how you choose to invest, in my opinion, Opinion, two of the most important things to keep in mind would be number one diversify across multiple stocks or even sectors and number two don't bulk buy but dollar cost average by buying smaller amounts regularly another source of income that also doubles as a creative outlet is my blog 
I write articles on different software development topics or issues I run into and fix. Sharing these insights not only helps me stay engaged with the community, but it also generates a modest income. If you enjoy writing and have a knack for explaining technical concepts, blogging can be a great way to earn some extra cash. You can monetize your work in multiple ways here, both through affiliate links or the partner programs of different platforms that pay you just for the views you bring. Lastly, but definitely not least, I sell various digital assets besides my online courses. These include my software engineer interview cheat sheet, wallpaper packs and other materials I've created while learning and working as a software engineer. What's great about this type of work is that once you've created a digital product, it can sell over and over again, with minimal effort on your part. You don't have to ship anything since it's all over the web and there are minimal processes fees depending on whom you choose to work with. This has become a nice little stream of passive income for me and it's incredibly satisfying to see others benefit from the resources I've put together. If you want to generate income one way or the other, you need to remember that there is no getting around the fact that you need to provide value. And this value can be provided only by a person who has the skills to do so. If you feel like you're not there yet, that's a sign you should start working on yourself and develop in the areas that interest you. Make a habit to learn daily. Over time, this will compound and before you know it, you will be able to share it with the world, all while also earning from it. All the get-rich-quick and easy schemes are not real, so stop trying to look for shortcuts. It's much easier if you just start grinding and the results will show. I'd love to hear from you. What are your sources of income? Are you thinking of adding more? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And as always, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time, keep coding and growing your income streams. Cheers!